Okay, so today I'm recording a tutorial to show you uh, the basics of uh, NDM Phoenix. And so we're gonna start by the shell modifier because we can and we like the shell modifier. Yes, a good shell. So I'm just selecting that object right now and hit shell modifier. And then I'm. I can do. Uh, pretty much what I want so um, applying any molding commands and it will just work and update itself I'm gonna bevel that edge and because I want some oh no okay so I'm gonna delete that face and have a smoother bevel here okay so from the channel box you have some attributes you can modify so thickness attributes you have local offset uh, which is um, another algorithm for thickness and it will work when thickness doesn't so you might want to use it in future cases and so if you want to push it in the other direction all you have to do is uh, just select your faces and reverse uh, normals okay okay that's weird yep and you can push it in the other di direction as well so that's it okay but I want it in this, in this direction So you have also divisions you can increase and decrease. Uh, really, and the one you want to smooth uh, that mesh that is under that sh uh, that flat plane. Uh, so you can use that uh, to preview it, and it will toggle itself in even uh, on even on component mode. So yeah. Uh, so. Now I will use my cut tool Oop. to have some support edge loops. Ups, ups, ups. And let me add a hole because holes, holes are all cool. They are cool. I love holes. <laughs> okay, and I'm deleting that faces and we are done with it we have our mesh and now we can um, and now you're gonna use that uh, pretty much with every uh, modifier you're gonna hit the uh, destructor and you're gonna have the mesh or you're gonna hit savior and you're gonna save the control mesh so if you want to do whatever you you want if you don't want to apply that modifier, you just use Savior. Okay. And I will add uh, divisions and hit Disruptor. So that's one guy. Uh, now, um, for the bevel modifier, because we like bevel. So it basically is really. Uh, like uh, quad chamfer uh, for 3ds max except it it has some of the the Maya the Maya way you know <laughs> some of the Maya so 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 um, hitting that so hit it uh, uh, first time and then the second time for it to update so it's it's really exotic I know but you you'll find it um, uh, <laughs> normal as you use it so double click um, if you are used to that and you can do whatever you want update it so I'm gonna throw a bevel here select whatever thing I want from this object and update it so I can do everything I want oops I activated constraint Boop. update it 
and I don't want to update that. So it's uh, it's based on um, uh, smoothing groups, just like a uh, quad chamfer. So you wanna be careful with your your soft and hard edges. So now updating it, and boom, we have a sexy shape right there. Oops, that hedge is evil, so we're gonna delete it. Okay, it's still there. Okay, deleting that. Okay, we can do it. Apparently, okay, that that is a problem. Okay, now we are good to go. So that's basically how you use it now we have some interesting some spicy attributes here we can um, modify so you have division attributes you have offset attributes oops we have some okay so I'm gonna use uh, quickly um, uh, Chris plus to use uh, 30 smooth to apply some automatic smoothing and update it and voila sexy as fuck so um so yeah uh tweaking the offset tweaking the divisions and you want to usually let it to one and model your shapes and then increase it finally so yeah uh adjusting uh, divisions uh so let me show you that really cool feature you turn you turn bevel off and you have some let me some loops right here look at that that is sexy as fuck i know so and y you can also smooth it so and because of course the topology is not on point you have some uh some wacky uh surface ears here <laughs> so Toggling that shit. Um, bevel on. And you can change uh, the metering value here. And I'm just gonna increase the sub. Uh, the divisions. Let's move again. Woo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. So uh, from there you can hit um, uh, destructor. And you, you have it. Or final mesh um, then you have mirror so mirror tweak that position okay so tweak the position so each time you're gonna want to tweak that attribute right here so it's near your mesh and then you have it and you can do whatever you want just like with the other modifiers and uh, one thing uh, with the mirror modifier is that um, it's not like uh, an instanced object uh, the, the the thing that it has uh, over instance method is that you can uh, tweak these parameters uh, on the fly. So if I want it to reflect on the, the Y, I ch I'll, I'll change that, you know? Okay. If I want it to reflect on the Z, I'll change that too. And I'm just doing some some ugly designs <laughs> because we are just um, showing the features here Voila. and hitting the structure and it won't uh, delete the faces in the middle so you're gonna want it to quickly delete them and merge all that yep perfect quick shape we, we we have done quick little shape and so um, 
there is the real-time trace modifier so this one is particular you you might you might uh, think dude why would I use that uh, well I used it and it was um, uh, really useful um, for low poly modeling or retopo retopologizing uh, uh, um, one mesh from a friend uh, he gave me that and he said oh can you can you can you give me some help and retopo that shit please and I said yeah why not because I'm a good guy <laughs> and I just use use that uh, to to make uh, the process uh, uh, faster and so using it and then I can do whatever I want. What is nice about that is that uh, I have um, I have uh, subdivide polygon, add divisions uh, to edges uh, on on a not key. So if you had uh, a division to the to the edge, the the algorithm of course of uh, the triangle modifier will adjust uh, to to your input. So so dividing this edge is gonna create some new possibilities. You know, pop. Bop, bop. and that's that's cool and from that what is interesting with also with that modifier is that you can use a uh, quadrangulate after that you know what I mean so <laughs> you end up with that and you can just use a uh, quadrangulate and because uh, you assumed you you will just retopologize it and obtain quads out of that and had uh, your divisions to your edges uh you you use that and you, you have uh, and you will have um some nice quads okay they are ugly but you know what i mean <laughs> okay <laughs> so uh that was not done on strategic purpose here but you have some quads here and there okay uh diamond modifier and this uh, uh, here, all this uh, with the A flag or array modifier. So, what are array modifier? Well, uh, it means that um, uh, for each um, faces or vertices or edges, it, de it depends really on the modifier. Uh, it's gonna do something to the to the components, you know. And I'm just gonna add some subdivisions, and then hit uh, array daemon. Okay, and by default that's uh, uh, 05 because that's the perfect intersection value. But if you don't want of it, you can just add that. And I've saw multiple times um, Vitaly Bulgarov using a, a similar technique. Uh, to to create holes quickly in in some um, close uh, some sleeky surfaces you know and uh, that really useful I'm just gonna leave it uh, right uh, like that and you can do you can do pretty much what you want yep So if you want uh, quick details, you can play with it. Uh, and one things you can do because uh, you know, you know, <laughs> it uh, it it just gonna update continually. You can just extrude all the spaces, and you are gonna have some nice effect maybe. So use that. And we might want to tweak uh, that. So you can create some cool effects um, like that. Just quickly and tweak the shape again and again and again. And then you can destroy or save your, your mesh. So destroy. Yep. So that's really weird. Okay. Um, 
the square, the A square modifier. So let me have a sphere so we don't have all planes in the scenes. <laughs> and gonna apply that modifier to that. So you have some controls here, division attributes, and offset. And we can have something cool. And I don't want it to modify this, so I'm gonna deal with this faces quick. Mm -hmm. Deleting, deleting that face. And there you go. Oh, so I'm gonna do it that. Yeah, it, it begins to stretch uh, on the poles, so I don't really like that. So I'm gonna delete that shit. And then I add some divisions because why not? I can do whatever I want. Okay. And then I'm gonna modify my shape because I, I just want to, to do that. We have some nice effect right here. <laughs> and voila. And let's move it to see. And that's kind of. Yeah. It's not really the direction I will take, but <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. And just gonna increase that. Destructor. And I'm just gonna bevel all of that by hand and now I'm gonna smooth it and we have some uh, nice intricate effect right here and we could in the past um, change our shape uh, so so it was really practical for for the design the particular design of that <laughs> sphere with a column on top of it and so here is the pack modifier so ironically really cool to to quickly shape some diamonds uh, at the surface you know <laughs> so you can see it so here's the wireframe and again because it's stretching at poles and I don't want that gonna delete that delete, any, delete that and I have that and I can do whatever I want with it so you can really apply anything to your mesh you know you, you can do anything with that and so just gonna hit destructor of all all these edges and hit smooth you know it has and here's our little uh, chamfered vertex vertex and it has and you just did that shape so quickly so <laughs> um, yeah that's that's all for the modifier you have so you have some drop down menu right here okay you have this help um thingy and it will bring you to to the topic to the thread so let's do it dun, 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 dun. yeah <laughs> so from here you can uh ask me whatever you want uh some requests for new features because we never know what we can add to that um uh some tips and tricks um uh some bugs if you have some bugs you can just say hey i had some bugs and i will say yeah uh fine I i'll fix them dude <laughs> so bye and take care dude take care